Before I start this video, I would like to announce I have a Patreon page where you can get some awesome rewards, so I'd recommend checking it out. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mumsel, and this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for the longest ass time. And I'm like, not even kidding, I've like been thinking about this video for like a year or so. So as you guys know, there is a lot of homophobic people out there. There's a lot of people who simply don't like to think for themselves but also are basically like sheep. They only think for themselves. They don't want to be educated on things which are not even problematic, even though they say they are. I'm actually looking at this website called Unsettled Christianity. And the reason I'm picking this up is because this is 15 reasons why homosexuality is wrong and hurts society. And I, and I wanted to read this and kind of give you guys my opinion on why I think about this, because I'm very open-minded and very intelligent when it comes to gay rights and stuff like that. Oh, by the way, before we start, you should definitely join my Discord, link in the description. So their first point is homosexuality injures and fabric of society, especially children. So basically the first one is saying that if we talk about being gay and how it's good and right, then our children are also going to do that. And to me, it's like, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with teaching our children to love and respect other people who simply are humans as well as us? Like, I don't understand how people think that gay people are not human just because they like something else. It's like you going up to someone who likes watermelon and you like bananas. Oops, probably a bad example. And then you're not agreeing because that's their taste. It's like, they don't choose that. And the second one is homosexuality is an anti-procreation. And here they're talking about how if everyone was gay, the world would never exist, we would go extinct, blah blah blah. And there's many things to say about this. Number one, we're living in a time where procreation is not our main problem. Number two is that there are other ways to get children through adoption or surrogacy. And then number three, I believe that if us people were living in a time before, I believe that we would understand that being gay simply does not work to reproduce and we would find other ways. So let's say that everyone in the world was gay and they couldn't help it that they're not attracted to men, couldn't help it that they're not attracted to women, and women couldn't help it that they're not attracted to men, etc. So everyone was lesbian or gay. I would say that to like swap children if that makes sense because if they can't help it that they're gay they can't help it that they're gay therefore they would have to swap their children or adopt from each other number three is homosexuality does not offer the stability of a traditional family so here it says that every every child needs a mother and father and the thing about that is it's a social construct so Basically, society has told you that you need a mother and father. This is not something which you have to have. Gay parents do exist and they do work out. And then it also says that boys without fathers, simply two lesbian mothers, there's more chance of them having destructive behavior because they don't have a father who can teach them what to do. You know, instead of do, instead of blaming that it's all about it's all about being gay and that's the problem here. I think it's a problem that we don't teach women how to take care of their kids, if anything. So you shouldn't be blaming it on having lesbian mothers. They should just as well know how to make their child not be as violent. If I remember correct, women are less violent than men, so shouldn't it be the complete opposite? And number four is basically saying that if it was real love, they wouldn't have unnatural love, and that's just so hypocritical because real love is real love you can't just say that if it's you can't just say that if they really loved each other then they would go the natural way by being heterosexual that's just so hypocritical number five is homosexuals have a shortened lifespan i knew you guys would take that up um actually there's a study which says that the people who are much more anti-gay prejudiced against gay people simply live 2.5 years shorter than people who are not so if anything the people who are prejudiced against gay people live less so if you're a homophobe then you're going to be living less than someone who's not a homophobe basically number six is saying that there's much more domestic violence in homosexual relationships the child shouldn't be exposed to that usually gay people are the ones who are much nicer you know the funny thing is most gay people tend to be the victims so i don't think that this point is very much valid because 
domestic abuse is domestic abuse. It's never right, even if it's in a hetero relationship. Domestic abuse is domestic abuse. And I think that we need to go into individually because if there's a family who's gay, who happens to be in a gay relationship, who has a child and is and there's a lot of domestic abuse, there has to be, it needs to fix itself. We can't just like go in and generalize. Like that's just giving gay people a bad impression, which is not even close to true. The funny thing is most gay men tend to be very feminine. So I don't really see them beating up their children. All right, so here it says that homosexuals are the ones who are most likely to do molestation. And that's a pretty sad topic if I do say so myself. But uh, again, you cannot generalize all gay people. There are definitely freaky gay people out there, but that doesn't mean all of them are. What about the majority of terrorist people? Okay, how many gay people are the ones who are the terrorists? Like, seriously, like, we could go into numbers as well. We could say how many terrorists are that are gay, and there's probably, like, none. So this is just, like, ter which, is wrong, which is more wrong, like, terrorism or molestation because i'm pretty sure terrorism affects much more than just one person but this is really invalid to say oh my god a number eight homosexuality is not condoned by the bible firstly you have the right to believe in what you want to believe but when you go and then go to other people and say you need to believe because i believe this way just so you guys are aware you have the right to believe in you, what you want to believe in, and they have the right to love who they want to love. So for you to be hypocritical and say that you can believe in what you can believe in, but they can't love who they want to love, that's just hypocritical because you guys are both getting rights to do what you want to do. I don't see why you can use the Bible. Not everybody even believes in the Bible. The Bible is so old. If anything, you should be using the Quran because the Quran is much more relevant. The Quran came after the Bible, and Quran is the last book which will ever be in place of religion and then number nine is basically they want they hate it that homosexuals are trying to redefine marriage because apparently marriage used to be when it's between a man and a woman and they don't simply like it and i'm like who has really been hurt by by being redefined if anything we're just doing it better there are more people who are happier more stable relationships what's your point and then number 10 is homosexual marriages will lead to other unnatural unions. And here it says, for example, a 52-year-old man will try to marry a 10-year-old girl, brothers marrying sisters and mothers marrying sons, and bestiality and sex with animals. Uh, the problem here is this is a big difference. Being gay and being straight is not more different than switching out the man for a woman and switching the woman out for a man 52 year old man with a 10 year old girl that's pedophilia and the thing which you fail to understand is pedophilia is very manipulative and it's very obvious to see who's being manipulative because a 52 year old man can never fully understand a 10 year old girl same goes the other way around a 10 year old girl probably doesn't even understand that she's living she probably has a brain that she's living but she doesn't understand the concept of love she probably doesn't even understand what love is so she really needs to grow up before you even can think about that the minors never is really going to understand what they're actually doing because they're actually being manipulated and then when it comes to um incest and stuff that's really i don't think it's a really relevant topic because incest is not a sexuality it's actually Incest is more of an attraction and homosexuality is more of a lifestyle and sexuality. So there are two different things. When it comes to incest, there's not as many people who do incest as much as being gay. And that's simply because incest is not... I don't know anyone who's living as an incest because people don't really do that. I don't know anyone who d even does incest. So what's... I don't see why this is even like valid to use. Homosexual marriage is not right. I'm not just gonna, I'm not even gonna read the rest of this. And then number 12, it says that being homosexual is very dangerous and unhealthy. And as for that, you can't really say too much about that. There's, you're just as unhealthy as you being in a heterosexual relationship. You obviously have to know what's the best thing to use, aka a condom, etc, etc. There's not really much more to debate about this point because it's all about people not using condoms and stuff and that's really up to how you want to do it. I'm not really into what other people 
put their thing in. It's not really anyone's problem at this point. Like, it's kind of personal if you ask me. Seriously, not everybody believes in God. You need to understand that, that your belief is your belief. That's your right to believe. And they have the right to love. And then number 14, it says it's not genetic. Usually the youngest child is usually the one who's usually gay. And then number 15, homosexuals should not be given benefits to marriage. And as I said before, it's there. It's up to them. And it, you have as much right to believe in what you want to believe as they have the right to do what they want to do. Because they're not hurting anyone, they're not affecting you. So therefore, there is no problem here besides yourself. I want to go over some more things because I feel like this website didn't have all of the points which I wanted to discuss. And that's that it's unnatural, disgusting, and shameful. And as you guys know, there's many things we do today which are unnatural. So I just wanted to put the list over here. And... Everybody who says that being gay is disgusting, it's really not up to you to decide that. There's like plenty of straight couples which are disgusting, for example. I'm not here to shame people, but if you want to really go after someone of how you think is right, you can't just define what's right depending on what your thing goes up or down. Like it's not, it's not any of your business, honey. And then the shame really comes from society itself because they're the ones who are given guilt by saying that you should be ashamed of yourself and then they feel guilty and then they're basically saying that ha ha ha, you feel guilty and you're ashamed, you should be ashamed of yourself. And it's really ir irresponsible because they're saying that it's shameful even though they're the ones who are giving the shame. And as I said before, there's plenty of ways to have children, but again, if everybody was gay and if that was the point, then we could always just under use our brains to understand that we would have to swap kids or some other way. There's always other ways, that's what I'm saying. Being hateful is not a valid way to go. It's not going to benefit anyone. Being hateful, saying gay is disgusting, is wrong, and blah blah blah, is not going to change who they are. And then I'm going to go to the last one. Gay people have no moral values. The reason people say that there's no moral values is because they don't believe in religion, most of the gay people. Therefore, they don't have any moral values, so they do whatever they please because that's their sexuality. I just want to say that if we're going to talk about moral values here, I think there's you have less moral values. If you're throwing stones at gay people and calling them disgusting and wrong, that's probably less moral values because you're disrespecting another human being who has feelings. So therefore, if anything, you don't have moral values because you're so brainwashed and, sh and you're just such a sheep to whatever you believe in. So I just think it's completely irrational and irrelevant that you can say that they have no moral values when you're the one who's spreading your belief, which you have the right to, but they have the right just as much. It's really just about hypocrisy at this point. Final thoughts. I think that a lot of people who are homophobic, they simply just have a lot of hypocritical thoughts and simply don't really think about what they're doing. They simply just believe in what they believe in and they just think about what attracts them. And it's funny because they use the same argument that gay people think that it's okay because it attracts them because they don't think about their tendencies. But, but straight people hating on gay people because that's not their tendency is apparently not a problem. I j I'm just out of this video at this point because um, I've said what has to be said. If you did like it, make sure to give a like and I'll see you guys later. Bye!